me unboxing, uh, this is the Cooler Master Elite 110. This is a, a very budget uh, mini ITX uh, computer case. So let's uh, open it up and see what it looks like. And then we'll compare it to um, some other mini ITX cases that uh, I like as well. So this one was uh, just a little over $60. All right, so we've got the Elite 110 Series User Manual. Um, I like the packaging so far. It's like not a ton of packaging, which is nice. I feel like I'm always just recycling like way too much cardboard. So good packaging there. Uh, Cooler Master makes, I mean, a lot of different things. They make obviously coolers uh, for CPUs. They make cases. They make power supplies. Um, Okay, I mean this is, uh, it's nice and small, just size-wise. Um, it's metal, it kind of looks plastic, but it's kind of a cheaper metal. Um, back here, you can see we've got a power supply spots. Um, we've got thumb screws. I say thumb screws and then I can't actually turn these, so I'm gonna have to grab a screwdriver. Um, but like this side one here, Oh, it's, it's got a cooler integrated and then all of its cabling stuff here. So this is basically the front here. You can see we've got a front panel with, uh, that's just a dumb button. Um, reset, well, actually that's an LED light, so that's supposed to be an indicator of power. Power button, line in, line out, headphones, two USB. Uh, USB A ports on the front there, and uh, let me grab a screwdriver here. Okay, so let's open this guy up. Just take a quick look inside. So I actually think this uh, this is going to be a th whole three-sided piece. It looks like, just kind of interesting. Um, Four screws, two on the top and then one on each side here. So we get those off. Whoops! Don't want don't want to lose those. Okay, and I think okay. So then that comes off, slides out just like that, and then we can kind of see bit more of what we have to work with inside. So we got all of our cabling stuff. Like I said, there's one fan here. Um, looks like it's SATA powered for that. And you've got like your, all your front panel connections and things. And uh, looks like the motherboard will go here at the bottom. And then you've got two slots PCIe here. So you could still fit, you know, this is not gonna fit a full-size graphics card this way. It's definitely going to need to be, you know, a short-form uh, graphics card. I don't think a full-size one is going to fit there, but I mean, it's a mini ITX case, so um, you could always mount one up here probably with a riser. I think this this up here is probably more for uh, an all-in-one cooling unit radiator up here. Um, but yeah, this is interesting. This will be this will be fun to build with. Uh, I do have some short form cards. This will be a good example of you know building with a short form form factor. Um, this top case is definitely, I don't know, it's not my favorite, but again, this was 60 bucks, so it's very cheap uh, compared to something like this. This is the NZXT H1. You know, this was $400, but includes all in one cooler and uh, integrated power supply. So you can just kind of see the different form factors for other mini XTX cases. This is the NZXT uh, 210. So these are all, you know, only mini ITX cases. So this is definitely kind of the most diminu diminutive, diminutive, uh, kind of the shortest form factor. Um, obviously wider than the, the NZXT has got this kind of interesting vertical format to it. But uh, for a budget case, I was doing a budget short form build. Um, this looks like it could be a, a very solid option. So 
Okay, this is a uh, Cooler Master Elite uh, 110 and uh, Mini ATX version. Uh, they do have an ATX, looks like version two, but uh, for the 110 Mini ATX case from Cooler Master.